Hello and welcome to the Time Searchers Ghost Relics Program. I'm your host, Roger Blissman, longtime relic hunter and collector. Over the years, myself and Bill the Colonial Relic Hunter Lydic have traveled to long forgotten sites to rescue items from the past. Along the way, we have experienced the feeling that we are not alone, that the past was not as long gone as most people think. On these sites, we have found what could be called a portal to the past, perhaps to another dimension, where that which once was still is a place where the real consorts with the shadows. The present fuses with the past. Here on Ghost Relics. Here on the actual battlefield, the time searchers will explore to see what these fighting men left behind. Some relics and perhaps some lost souls. Hello and welcome to Time Searchers Ghost Relics. I'm your host Roger Blissman and here today I have my co-host, our guide through time and the paranormal world, <laughs> Bill the Colonial Relic Hunter Halitic. How are you doing Bill? Pretty good, pretty okay. good. Well Bill, why don't you explain to our audience exactly what we're going to be doing here today. Well today we're going to do a little uh, relic hunting and taking some pictures and checking out the area so we can come back tonight and use the artifacts as trigger points to see if we can stir things up at this battlefield. Because here in the past, when we mal detected different battlefields or whatever, forts or whatever, we always felt a presence yeah, of people no watching question us. About it. Absolutely. And I've always been curious about it. So here we are and we're going to investigate it and, and bring the proof to you guys and there is really something there. Okay, and while we're hunting actually, uh, we are going to, on and off, we're going to try to take some uh, pictures with our special uh, cameras, infrared lenses, to mm -hmm. see whether we can find something during the day. I've yeah, you never know. During the day, we might pick something up with the, the infrared. And then plus, you know, with each artifact we go, we're going to use the EMF detector. And we'll ask a few questions and see what happens, you know. But uh, we'll mark, mark the area where we find the artifacts. We'll go back tonight and see, see how happens. it goes. But with many people killed here. I think we're going to get some activity, and then plus, you know, there could be a lot of residual hauntings here, and that's even better, you know. Meaning so. that we would actually hear some of the actual sounds of that battle. Yes, I think so. I, I hope we catch some of that. Okay, well, we'll find that today, yep. Bill. All okay. right. All right, plus, then. Let's get cracking. Okay, that's right. Okay, I finally opened this hole up, and uh, what I have here is what is called a piece of camp lead. It's not a mini ball. It's not a musket ball, unless it's a really deformed one. Uh, it looks like a piece of camp lead, which is lead that the soldiers would use in their various things, uh, utensils and things, uh, uh, equipment. Uh, pieces of this lead uh, were very common back then. Uh, so it shows uh, we're in the right area, and even though this is a very small item, but it is a personal item that uh, the soldiers would have used. We're going to keep looking. Okay, it looks like we found another one of these little canister shots. They're made out of iron. They were, either could be in a uh, Confederate shell or you know a fused cannonball. They could have come out. That's the second one. The other one. And it looks like we see Roger there going along. So. I think this will make a very good trigger point tonight to try to see what happens out here. Maybe we can pick something up. All right, let's get cracking. Okay, here's a find right out, fresh out of the hole. This is a smashed musket ball. This definitely would have been a Confederate piece because the Federals, they were uh, equipped with the... Uh, more advanced rifles such as the Springfields by 1862 so more than likely this in fact was a Confederate piece so we're uh, finally seeing some real action here on the relic end of it and uh, I know Bill, I heard Bill uh, find a couple uh, pieces of Confederate canister so we're gonna keep looking well things are starting to pick up here I got like a Looks like a like one of them finals. 
neat find. You don't find too many of these. So I'll try to use that for get some uh, response tonight too. So it's all shaping up. Silver War artifacts are coming out of the ground. Okay, I'm back actually on the same end of the Confederate line that I was earlier. I went up and down the row here and remarkably enough this is the third Confederate musket ball I found. This one also looks like it's been dropped. A little cut there. A little cut. Interesting. But uh, I'm going to keep looking. Well, here we go. I got a little piece of brass here. What this is is a little piece off a of friction primer. And they use this for the uh, the artillery. It's a little piece of one and they're usually a couple inches long with a little end piece and little wire thing that comes off the end where it put, where, not wire but where the fuse would go and, and then it would light it like that. Cool little piece. Alright. Well here I am. It's been a while. I've been going through these rows. Wasn't having too much luck on the lower end so I thought I'd get more up on the hill. Bill's over there. And uh, fortunately, here I am, and I got a, looks like a dropped Confederate musket ball. It's in really nice shape. So this, in fact, is still the area where the Confederate counterattack to the Union forces uh, were, and this uh, was a decisive piece of ground. And uh, this is one of the many balls probably dropped by a Confederate soldier. So we're going to keep going. Okay, here got a little bit of luck. Oh, it was done about six inches in that hole. And uh, here's the shell fragment I just found uh, just a couple minutes ago. It weighs about a pound or two. Can you imagine, you know, that flying in the air and hitting you? Amazing. That'll make a great trigger point, I think, for tonight. So we'll, we'll check it out and we'll see if it works. All right. Okay, here we are at the uh, one end of the uh, hill. Now this is the area where, um, about where I found the uh, Confederate musket ball. Uh, this area is really a key part of this uh, battlefield in that um, the uh, Confederate counterattack came from this side and swept the Union forces back which uh, permitted the actual victory here. Okay, here we are at the end of day one of the Time Searchers Ghost Relics hunt. Uh, Bill, what did you find today? Well, I found a few interesting things just for a short time we've been out here. But at least we've got some artifacts we can use as trigger points tonight. Exactly. And go back to the same areas. I got a nice uh, uh, shell fragment there from a cannonball. It looks like a 12 pounder, a Union shell. And another piece here that uh, looks more Confederate. Yeah, exactly. And, and this piece here, got another piece. So and shell fragments. Yeah, I well, got a couple. Uh, we've well, dug in the past these little iron balls. <coughs> exactly. You that know, would so be Confederate canister shot. Yep. Which is made out of iron. Yep. And I got a bunch of uh, old friction primer pieces. What's left of them? Off the artillery pieces. Yep. And. Uh, and this is off of, uh, what did you say? What? That's actually a scabbard tip, Bill, off of a either a sword or a bayonet. Yeah. So we're going to use this, too, as trigger points tonight. And you've got some interesting Yeah, I, th there. this, it looks like it might possi possibly be a fuse off a shell. I'm simply, at this point, I'm not sure. I found a piece of uh, camp lead, and uh, I have three Confederate musket balls. One that was fired, and two that looks like they were dropped. And for whatever reason, I got a little railroad tie that was in the middle of the field there, Bill. Okay. But uh, these, I, I'm hoping, would be items that would be good trigger items for us tonight. Yeah, I think so. Freshly dug artifacts uh, might do the trick. Exactly. Just for the benefit of our, of our audience, Bill, let's go and show close-ups of these items. This would be the uh, what we think could be a, uh, a primer fuse, maybe for a shell. Here we have the um, three uh, musket balls, 
camp lead, and then of course the railroad spike. And uh, Bill, why don't you step up, show your finds? Okay. I got a decent sized shell fragment. Oh yeah, there. that's a nice one. It, it weighs a good pound or more. Yeah. And then this piece is not too bad either. Ah. And uh, and you could see the uh, primer fuses. Yeah, primer fuses and these little iron uh, canister shot. Canister shot. Confederate, and then yeah. uh, the scabbard tip. Yep, and a little piece of camp lead yeah. too. Well, so considering. I think this will be all good stuff to try. I'm glad to Good hear that. Points. Considering, uh, you know, uh, over the years, a lot of actual, a lot of relic hunters have been in this area. That's not a bad outing, Bill. No, not not too bad for two hours. So. No, not bad. Okay, Bill. I guess we're gonna wrap it up, and uh, then we'll go on. We'll go on then, and uh, kind of rest up a little bit, and then yeah. come back and uh, see what we can do uh, in regard to the spirits. for them to manipulate it to try to speak for us. Like, let's ask it a question. Anybody here with us today? Did it sound like I? I thought, I heard a very soft man's voice. That's how get out. Get out? Is anybody here with us today? I heard somebody. You're, you're only Confederate soldiers here. We're in here today. Oh. What did you say, three? Three? Sometimes it might you might not get nothing right at the moment. Okay. But sometimes it pays to come back a little bit later. All right. And they're just not ready to talk to us. Here. Okay uh, then. I guess we'll come back later and chat with you guys. See, my you don't want to talk to us now. We'll just keep following. <laughs> We're recording them with you. All right, Bill. Bill, you heard something down here. Well, you were listening to the mic recorder in the vehicle. Okay. I'm standing right about in here. Okay. And I can hear banging down here. Okay, Bill. It started me, so I came running up. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> well, when we, when we listen to the mic recorder, when we were down here earlier, it sounded like you heard a man's voice saying Joseph. Saying it in response to your question of yeah. who was, what his name was. Yeah. That's right. Well, like the Marine Corps, we're ready. That's right. Sound like a metallic bang or what it sound like? Yeah, like a metallic bang. How many times? I think from the room, but uh, yeah, I think we'll head back down to where we heard Joseph. Okay. I thought we got a response. I got my spare box with me. Okay. With the EMF detector. Remember, it went off once down here. Yeah. Yeah.